guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am back with another junk journal with me. I am going to be documenting about a walk that my husband and I took around a National Trust site. So I'm just choosing a page in my journal to work on and one thing I've noticed is that a lot of the pages are smaller pages so I'm going to be trying to use a few of those today. So all I have to document in today's session is a bunch of photos. I like to document all of the National Trust sites that we visit and last year in 2021 Dan and I actually became National Trust members and that makes me so happy. <laughs> we get to go on lots of walks and explore new places. I'm just having a play around with the photos and seeing how I might like to incorporate them into my journal because there is a lot of them I'm going to be adding some of them into the pocket. I've pulled out a couple of paper bits and pieces that I thought maybe I could use to cover up that book page and I can do some journaling on. I also have this floral scrap I thought I might like to use to decorate the page. And I also have this printable. This printable is from Little Bindi on Etsy, it's an illustrated doily. So I'm going ahead and sticking four of the photos straight down onto the back of this envelope. So I've just used double sided tape to do that. So Dan and I went on this little walk a couple of days after getting back from LA. We had to cut our trip short because whilst we were out there the pandemic was just hitting the news and we didn't want to get stuck out there so we flew back early. A couple of days after the walk a UK lockdown was announced so I'm going to be journaling about that a little bit later. I've pulled out this CD sleeve, it contains lots of journaling cards and ephemera pieces from the Crepe Paper Marigold collection. All of these pieces are from the 12 by 12 cut apart sheets and all I'm doing is going through them and choosing which ones might work as a journaling spot. So I've narrowed it down to two, this brown one and a pink one. And I choose this pink one because it goes better with the floral paper on the opposite side. I've pulled out this floral washi tape tube, it's from the brand Recollections and I'm going to be using one of the tapes down the centre of the page just to cover up a little bit of that wording because the journaling card doesn't quite cover it all up. I've added a little bit of journaling to this printable and I've used my glue stick to stick that down into my journal. I've also added my journaling onto this journaling card and that is attached into the journal with double sided tape. And now I'm just going in with some washi tape to decorate this page a little bit and tie in some of the pink on that floral pocket. It's one of the washi tapes from that floral tube I showed you earlier. I wanted to add something else to this book page, so I've pulled out my stickers from the Crepe Paper Flourish collection, and I found this pretty pink floral sticker, which matches in perfectly with that pocket, and it also ties in more of that pink colour. So I'm just seeing if there are any other stickers I can use. I'm really trying to finish this sticker sheet up. I really don't have many left. So I choose this label sticker and I'm going to pop a word sticker on top of that. I've pulled out my Tim Holtz word stickers because I don't use them often enough and I love them. So I choose this white sheet with gold writing on. And I choose the word explore because that fits really well with what I'm documenting. And now I'm just going through my pages and seeing if there is anything else I can add. Mm -hmm. 
and I really want to fill in that space at the bottom of the book page so I just add a little bit more of that purple and green floral washi tape and these are the finished pages it was a super quick and easy journaling process today but I really hope you enjoyed watching these pages come together. I absolutely love how they turned out. I hope you're all doing really well. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.